Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Toy Panic unboxing and review video. Today, with a special thanks to one of our clients, uh, we are able to unbox this brand new Entebbe Scotty Pippin 1-6 scale action figure. So, yeah, let's take a closer look at the box. Very nicely wrapped in plastic. So, Ooh, some nice details right here. Let me just uh, take this off real quick. And take a look at the box. Very, very nice. So you get Scotty Pippen's uh, autograph here, his jersey number. Scotty Pippen is slightly dimmed, slightly uh, hollow. Is a different texture so you can just get catch the light on it's really nice and of course Skype on the side here very nice very nice and he was in fact one of the Chicago Bulls very cool officially licensed NBA product enter Bay NBA you know all that good stuff now the world's biggest uh, Chicago Bulls fan I'm more of a Lakers guy but in the 90s I mean you had the dream team right there Pippen Rodman Jordan all right, so let's uh, go ahead, take a look at the figure inside. It's on two separate trays, so it's a break up box style. So just take a look here. There is our, the accessories tray over here. You get a trophy, you get a base, you get his hands. And of course you get the main figure here, All right. So, let's take a look at the accessories. Before we take a look at the main figure. Be very gentle, this isn't mine. All right, so hey, yet again, Scotty Pippen 33, Chicago Bulls. Very nice, very nice. Do, 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 do. You get after sale support from Enter Bay. Very cool. Again, read your paperwork. Instructions. And two uniforms. Two different styles of uniforms. One is his home uniform, the Chicago Bulls home uniform. One is the away uniform. Very nice. You also get two different styles of basketball shorts. And I guess uh, inner layer. And why well, seem to be an armband and two pairs of socks. Very cool. Same thing goes for the back. Ooh, um, very spicy indeed. Very, very spicy. Um, I'm not gonna show this because it'll don't want to get demonetized by YouTube. But um, you get a body. So there's some assembly required for this figure. You get some assembly is required for this figure. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, a lot of the details are correct. I mean, he still even, even has the little pip tattoo right here on his, the upper arm. Very, very cute. Right. Yet yeah. a pair of what I assume to be Nikes of a sort. Nikes or it's not the swoosh, but Again, Reeboks or Adidas, what have you. I'm not sneakerhead, so I don't really know my sneakers are, but I do know these. These look like Nike Airs. Very, very nice, or Adidas. Again, not a sneaker guy. And you get two, two heads. One is this sort of, let me just get this out. Relaxed head. Calm head and another is a uh, smiling head. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Take a short break and See if we can't assemble this together and uh, we'll take a closer look with everything in his full uniform 
after this. All right, so we are back. And before we take a look at the fully assembled figure, let's take a look at the accessories. Uh, first thing, you have a very selection of hands. You have a gripping hand. You have, a, I assume to be sort of a basketball throwing hand. And this Superman hand, I don't know what that's for. We already have two hands equipped. One hand is, this come with a magnet so you can actually let it stick to the ball and like, you know, do a lot of dunking or dribbling or whatever it is people do in basketball. <laughs> right, so let's take a look at the ball itself. It's really, really nice. Nicely textured, nicely painted. Spalding logo here. There's some small NBA logo here. Very, very cool. Right, take that off the side. Now, one of the more sensitive parts of this uh, set is the trophy. The trophy is done in a gold chrome. And gold chrome is a fingerprint magnet, which is why I'm wearing these, these fine gloves. So as not to like get any of my dirty, dirty little fingerprints on this, on this very, very nice chrome uh, trophy. Very, very cool. Again, I don't know what this is. And it could be like a championship trophy, playoffs, who knows? I'm more of a football guy myself. American football, not, you know. Yeah. Well, let's uh, get these extras off to the side and we'll uh, take a closer look at the Enter Base Scotty Pippen figure. Ooh, one more. Before we move on to the figure, I totally forgot one of the main, uh, one of the main pieces of accessory on this figure. This Chicago Bulls stand, the Enter Base stand. Uh, again, it's a very nice nameplate Scotty Pippen here with a metallic nameplate. Very nice. The base is of painted like a like a basketball court. Nice the Chicago Bulls logo there. And you get a dynamic clip base. So you know you can uh, get your Scotty Pippen to do whatever you need in terms of posing. Very, very nice. And again, it comes in a metal clip. I think it's metal. Or does it feel metal? I mean, it could be a plastic clip, but yeah, it is spring loaded. So you know it will grip onto the figure pretty tightly. Very, very nice. So let's move on to the main figure itself again. All right, so we have him dressed up in the Bulls home jersey. Stitch work and detail on this. I mean, it looks like a real basketball jersey. Just shrunk down to one six scale. I do believe they may have used the same material as what a basketball jersey. 33 back ear. Bulls logo. I think it's tampoed on. Very cool. Pippin 33. The armband. And again, very, very nice. So, as you said before, one of the hands has a magnet, and it is this one. And the way it just sort of grips onto the basketball is very interesting. So, only one side of the ball has a magnet, and it's the side with the NBA logo on it. So, if I may, so it just sort of sticks and it just stays on there pretty well. I'm just trying my damnedest to actually get him to shake it off. Very nice. So let's uh, take a look at the articulation of this figure. Head can go up, and down, left, right, and they give him a pretty thick neck. I don't know why, but it doesn't because it doesn't really air articulation very well. So you know, yeah, side to side, up and down. It's on a rubber piece, so you gotta be very careful. Yeah, very nice, and you can get good. Up and down so there and the arms are very interesting so this is a single pin joint so you get universe joint and all the way around all of that good stuff and but this inside here the inner joint to articulate is ratcheted as you can see from this left arm yeah it's ratcheted and the elbow joint is a single elbow joint. There's no bicep swivel, which is in very interesting for a, a fit, once it's February 2021 not to have a bicep swivel to aid articulation. Right, there's an arm, arm, elbow. And elbow, of course, can articulate side to side. And all that good stuff. Now the hands are on a uh, universal joint and a hinge. So you get them to do a lot of good basketball-y poses here and there. 
and now the uh, legs are can go up can go down can go back a bit because of the sculpt is hindered but you can do a lot of the traditional basketball poses very nice and you can also do a bend knee full double bend very very cool and you can also get a full uh, a full articulation here down at the ankle swivel all around right there and you can pivot side to side because of how it's constructed very very cool right and of course uh, before i forget let's go take a look at the paint and sculpt so the likeness to dennis to scotty pippen here is really really cool and they even managed to paint some convincing five o'clock shadow and uh, the eyes are done a very nice gloss very lifelike and even he's, he's he cut his hair in a fade you can see where the fade starts and sort of gradually goes to the hair very very nice very very cool cool detail now um final thoughts on this figure um i guess if you're a big basketball guy you know he's not bad um but yeah i mean if you like him hey pick him up you know i do believe we have some left over in stock so uh you can uh, go to the link down below and uh, pick it up <laughs> uh yeah yeah pretty good recommend i mean i'm not a basketball guy so i can't really give any in-depth commentary but he's a pretty cool figure overall and you can probably do some pretty wild poses in a little bit okay Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode of a Typatic Unboxing and Review. Goodbye.